Namaskar. Welcome to another edition of Anesthesia Tools. Anesthesiologist being the team leader or integral part of in-hospital cardiac arrest resuscitation team will be witnessing situations of near-death experience, clinical death and death much more than any other specialist doctor. We deal similar situations of refractory hypotension or pre-cardiac arrest scenarios inside our operating rooms, ICUs, emergency room and in the ward. What happens when there is pre-arrest situation and brain runs out of oxygen supply? As the brain gets closer and closer to death, brain starts to fire only in areas which are very very basic to survival closer to brainstem fundamental and primitive parts deep seated in your consciousness are your life experiences that's how one gets a life review the more you slept on it the more detailed it becomes however it is not definite when exactly this happens is it happening as one approaches death or while returning from clinical death there is one psychological theory that near-death experience is a defense mechanism when faced with situations of extreme danger. A wide range of physiological theories of near-death experience has been put forward including those depend on cerebral hypoxia, anoxia and hypercarbia, endorphins, dimethyltryptamine and other neurotransmitters, and abnormal activity of temporal lobe or hippocampus. Some of the anesthetic drugs can simulate or lead to near-death experience. The classic example being ketamine. We know that ketamine produces dissociative anesthesia with hallucinations and loss of position sense with intense analgesia by dissociation of limbic and cortical centers. The actual boundary of death seems to be fuzzy. In fact, even after the heart stops, most of our organs and tissues remain in a state of quasi-death hours after the cardiac arrest. If that is the case and death is in a precise moment, maybe it can be modified, maybe we can push the boundary. Very low temperature or cold can slow down the cell metabolism and cell division and perhaps it can slow down cell death. This is the core idea behind therapeutic hypothermia. There are reports narrating out of the body experiences during cardiac surgery while the patient is under general anesthesia on cardiopulmonary bypass. The scientific researchers are in pursuit of the answers to these very very rare events. Before concluding, let me highlight a few encouraging and positive aspects in clinical medicine which came out of the research into near-death experiences. With better understanding of the molecular level mechanisms of anesthesia and state-of-the-art monitoring, anesthetic experience is becoming a far more comfortable and pleasurable one. The present day accuracy, precision and intensive medical care is proven to improve the survival rates. Emergence of therapeutic hypothermia or targeted temperature management after return of spontaneous circulation following resuscitation is a promising intervention. Scientific researchers suggest that even people who seem unconscious or in a coma could be living a rich neurological life maybe with an intense feeling of unconditional love and acceptance. That's all for the time being. It's me Sanish signing off with some postcards from Oman.